Hi, and welcome to uh, 5.4, Lesson 2, Day 2, Automobile Insurance. Our bell ringer, or warm today, is interpret the following Irma Bombeck quote in the context of what you have learned. Quote, never lend your car to anyone to whom you have given birth. Irma Bombeck was a humorist uh, of the suburbs and a mother, and... Um, I think she's being a little sarcastic here, um, uh, but, uh, obviously when you lend somebody a car, you're lending them not only something that could hurt them, they could uh, hurt other people and cause you financial distress as well. So, whereas some people would say you would only lend your car to your children, Irma says, <clears throat> don't, don't do that. <clears throat> Let's take a look, look at our last notes page. That was day one for automobile insurance. And write a question in our left-hand column. The question I have here as an example is, what's the difference between PIP and BI insurance? The answer is, if a driver causes injury and there are no law set, suits, then PIP covers. If not, bodily injury. Here is what we will title our next page for today. It's 5-4, Automobile Insurance Day 2. Our learning target is the same as it was earlier this week. We will be able to compute insurance costs and payments on insurance claims with a knowledge of different types of auto insurance coverage. Please put a 10-24-7 in your left-hand column. Uh, stop the video uh, until you get this completed, and when you're ready to proceed, hit play. Here's a little bit of reading added into the second part of our lesson. It says deductibles. When you purchase an automobile insurance policy, you must choose a deductible amount that will be part of the policy. The deductible is the amount the policy owner must pay before the insurance company pays any money. So there's a, a definition for you. It is the amount that you pay before the insurance company pays any money. <laughs> Once the owner's paid the deductible amount, the insurance company pays the rest of the cost to get the repairs done. Collision insurance only covers damage to the policy owner's car, not property damage or other driver's vehicles. If a driver has $500 deductible and the repairs to his, cost cost, to his car cost $2,200, the driver pays the first $500 and the insurance company pays the balance. $2,200 minus $500 or $1,700. Here's example three from page 240. It says, Peter has a deductible <coughs> collision insurance. Excuse me, $1,000 deductible in his collision insurance. Peter backs his car into his garage and he causes $4,300 worth of damage to the car. How much will his insurance company have to pay? Well, if you're thinking not all of it, you're thinking correctly. It would be four thousand three hundred worth of damage minus that deductible of a thousand, so they pay three thousand three hundred. Peter pays the one thousand. Get that down, and we will proceed to the next slide. Here's another little a bit about body injury and property damage. Bodily injury insurance coverage uses two numbers with a slash between them. The first number is the maximum amount per accident the insurance company will pay in thousands of dollars to any one person who is hurt and sues you due to your driving negligence. The second number represents the maximum amount per accident your insurance company will pay in total to all people who sue as a result of the accident. Sometimes bodily injury and property damage are combined into a three-number system with two slashes. The numbers 100 slash 300 slash 25 represent 100 slash 300 BI insurance and $25,000 PV insurance. Here's example four from page 241. Bob was in an auto accident caused by his negligence. He has 100 slash 300 bodily injury insurance. The three people injured in the accident sued. One person was awarded $140,000, and each of the other two were awarded $75,000. How much does the insurance company pay? Well, they only pay up to $100,000. So 
for this person right here, they would pay 100000 of that. But since 75000 is underneath $100,000, they would pay all of the $75,000 for the other two um, people who were hurt. So that comes to $250,000. That the insurance company would pay. Get that down and we will proceed to the next uh, slide. If you're wondering, it's Bob who is responsible for the $40,000 over what the insurance company pays right here. Here's example five. It's also on page 241. It says Desmond has a policy with 50 slash 150 BI, $50,000 PD, and $50,000 PIP. He causes an accident in which he hurts seven people in a minivan and four people in his own car, including himself. The 11 people who are hurt have minor injuries and do not sue Desmond. The total medical bill for all involved is 53233 How much does the insurance company pay? Well, the company pays um, 53000 as long as no one person has over $50,000. So, because of this right here, personal injury protection. Um, if, as long as no one of these individuals uh, asks for more than 50000 and I'm assuming since it's spread over 11 people that no one did, they would pay the entire $53,233. Bodily injury is not relevant to this because nobody sued. Get that down. And we will go to the next slide. Underline what's important in your notes. Circle your 10. Here is our assignment for today. It's assignment 29. It can be found in Canvas in our modules for week 8 of semester 2 or under assignments. Looking for assignment 29. It is in our textbook, pages 242 to 243, problems 7 through 9 and 12. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.